Close your eyes and imagine for a moment that you are one of 15 people standing around the periphery of a pitch black gallery space. Unseen in the center of the space is a 2,000 pound clay monolith. In an instant, a blinding flash illuminates the space before it becomes dark again. This image is temporarily burned onto your retinas. Over the course of the following 20 or 30 minutes, you stand in darkness punctuated by sporadic strobes of light as you listen to the sound of fleshy knees, fists, elbows, and feet impelled by bone and tendon into a mound of clay again and again and again and again. The artist is Heather Castles, a transmasculine performance artist. The work is becoming an image, and in it, Castles uses their masculine physique to sculpt clay through acts of violence. The only visual access an audience has to the event itself is through the light provided by the flash of a documenter's camera. After the performance, the pulverized clay remains as a monument to the victims of transphobic violence. 21 trans people were killed in the United States in 2015. 19 deaths have been tallied this year as of October. But while these figures are dramatic and troubling, this sort of literal physical violence that gender and sexual minorities face on a daily basis is only one kind of violence. For instance, here at the University of Alberta, a transgender person may choose to use a preferred name instead of the name tied to the gender they were assigned at birth, but they are outed as trans every time a class roster, transcript, or any number of computer-generated documents lists their birth name in parentheses next to their preferred name. It is simply impossible to change within the system, they are told. These literal and conceptual frameworks thus prevent certain groups of people from having agency over how they are represented in the world. Performance art is an abstraction of daily life. Just as modern, uh, modernist painters took forms of representation and visual perception and broke them down into their base components to rearrange them in evocative ways, performance art seeks to break down, abstract, and rearrange the building blocks of being and knowing in the world. I'm an historian of contemporary art and a performance artist myself. I take up performance art photo documentation as a performance art practice as well as a research methodology. In this experimental form of documentation, I synchronize still photos with first person video footage, binaural audio recordings, and recordings of my own heartbeat during the documenting process, which I capture with this digital stethoscope strapped to my chest. Just as Castles queers the documentary eye, embedding within it a critique of how transphobic violence is witnessed and represented, I seek to destabilize and denaturalize the totalizing authority of the document by providing viewers with a persistent reminder of the very real, physical, subjective and embodied processes of creating documents, as well as of the people and actions those documents come to represent.